Okay, this is the tutorial for graphing decimals. We're going to do a we do and a you do and hopefully keep the video fairly short so you can get on to practicing those. I've separated out the two um, lessons. We did the whole lesson. The main lesson was graphing fractions and decimals and it may have been too much at one time so um, I did a tutorial that was just graphing fractions so you could practice it if you struggled with that and then I also am doing a tutorial, this one, for graphing decimals so that you could just focus on that and your brain could really focus on what it needs to understand without being confused. So let's go ahead and do a we do for this. Um, the original lesson with the fractions and decimals together was together because fractions and decimals really are the same thing, they're just a different way of writing it and you've kind of heard that several times by now. Um, so we're going to look at how we can graph decimals now. So um, let's say we had 2.3, 3.6, um, and then I'm going to throw this one at you. Um, I don't want 3. I think negative 1.25. All right. So what we'd have is we'd have the number line here. And this is a we do, so you should be copying this all down as well. One, two, three, four, negative one, negative two, negative three. Okay, so just like um, when we were looking at fractions, this is the whole number. And so if we're graphing 2.3, we're going to go all the way to the positive 2. And in positive land, our numbers travel this direction. So we're going to go all the way to the positive 2, 1, 2. We made it to the 2. We just didn't quite make it to the 3, otherwise it would say 3 there. We made it to the 2, but not to the 3. So our answer, whatever it is, or whatever our graphing is of it, will fall between this section, past the 2, but not quite to the 3 yet. And for this lesson, for the decimals, if you remember that that spot to the right of the decimal is the tenths place, you could easily turn this 0.3, this 3, into a fraction by just saying, well, it's 3 out of the 10 spots. It is 3 tenths. If you can remember that, then it's just the same as when we were graphing the fractions. But now I'm breaking this section into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So smaller pieces. Out of those 10 pieces, I have gone across three of them. 1, 2, 3, to the spot right there. And that is 2.3. Similar with this one. I made it to the 3 in positive land, so I'm going this way. I made it to the 3, 1, 2, 3. But I have not made it to the 4, otherwise that would say 4. So I'm somewhere between 3 and the next number, 4. So I'm going to be, and I'm going to change this color to make it easy. I'm going to be somewhere between here and here. Well, 6 is in the tenths place in that number. Well, that just means 6 out of 10 is how far I've traveled across. That's how you change your decimal to a fraction, is just put the place value underneath it. So it's 6 tenths. So it's 6 out of 10, so I'm going to go ahead and break this into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And of those, starting at the 3, I'm going to go across 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that is 3.6. Easy, yeah? Okay, so let's check this one because this one might throw a little bit of a kink into the works. So let's look at negative 1.25. Remember, negative travels that direction. So from 0, I did make it to negative 1. I made it, but I did not make it to negative 2 or else that would say negative 2. So I made it to negative 1, but not to negative 2. So I'm somewhere in between. And here we were saying, oh, it ends in the tenths place. Looky there, so I break it into ten equal pieces. But look at this 25. It ends in the hundredths place. It ends in the hundredths place. That's okay. Well, just you just put under here, it ends in the hundredths place. 
It's still a fraction, 25 out of 100, because 25 ends in a hundredths place. But I really don't want to do, now I'm breaking this into 100 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we can count by tens. It's okay to count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I did 100, I broke it into 100 pieces. And I need to cross across 25 of them, starting at the negative 1. And remember, I'm in negativeville, so I go this way. So starting at negative 1, going that way. I'm crossing across 25. 10, 20, and then right in between there is going to be 25, right in between the 20 and the 30. So I mark it. Negative 1.25, right in there. Hopefully just focusing on that kind of helped... Um, clear it up and not having fractions mixed in there. It, essentially though, decimals are fractions. They're just always split into tens or hundreds or thousands. All right, so let's do uh, you do. Go ahead and do these two numbers on the number line and uh, see if you can graph them where they belong. If you get stuck, push play for, so that I can catch up. And if you finish it, go ahead and push play to check your answer. Okay, let's see how you did. Um, your first one was to graph negative 1.3. Well, I make it to negative 1, but not to negative 2, or else it would say negative 2. So I am in between these two. And this 3 is sitting in the tenths place. It is 3 out of 10, 3 tenths. So I'm going to split this section into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I am in negative land, which goes that direction. And I'm standing currently at negative 1, and I need to go that direction. 3 out of my 10 pieces. So 1, 2, 3. There is negative 1 and 3 tenths. Let's look at positive 2.5 and see how you did there. This is positive land and it goes this way and I went across 1 and I went across 2 but I did not quite make it to 3 yet or it would say 3 there but it doesn't. It's 2 not quite 3 yet so I'm going to find myself in between there. And I have um, for my decimal 5 in the tenths place. 5 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and split this section into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And out of those 10 equal pieces, I am traveling over 5 of them. I remember, I'm starting on the 2, because it says so, on the 2. And I'm traveling positive direction. It's a positive number. I'm going to cross over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it would be right there. 2.5. Hopefully that helped kind of clear up some of the muddiness you were struggling with in your mind. And go ahead and practice the tutorial uh, questions on your tutorial page and see how you do. If you have any struggles with that, let me know. But I think you'll find yourself much more successful this time. Great job!